Well, g'day folks, and welcome to another video. Today, we are looking at how to replace the fuel pump in the KTM 500. Now, I'm not doing it here on the side of the road, I'm doing it back in my shed. Now, if you are after a five minute, five step process on how to replace the fuel pump in the KTM 500, this video is not it. This is just me in my shed, working through the process with you. Now, it probably took me an hour to do it. I've cut this back down to about 14 or so minutes. Uh, I've sped up stuff where I can, but it is not a quick process, put it that way. Now, there is, however, some pretty handy little tips and tricks that I will mention through the video, so it's worth watching. Today we're looking at replacing the fuel pump in this, because as you've seen in my one of my last videos, the fuel pump died. Now, a couple of things, the symptoms of a fuel pump dying. So one is, it will feel like it's starving. So when I was riding it along, it felt like it was starving. I was on the throttle and it had sort of chug, 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 chug. Six, seven kilometers, it was doing that. Um, and then it eventually died. And then it just wouldn't start at all. And then an hour later, it just restarted and ran fine for an hour. And then it died again. It, it had those same sort of starving symptoms. So that's, that's the first thing. So another way you can tell that it's knackered is by listening to it when you first hit the starter button, you should hear it prime. So if I hit this starter button just once, you should hear the fuel pump prime Nothing, no sound at all. Now I'll repeat that once I've replaced this and you will hear the difference. There's the prime. But for now, there's no sound. A third way, which can get a little bit messy, undo the quick disconnect fuel thingy. In that hose, there's a, there's a spring-loaded valve. If you push that up, so it's, there's a little bit of fuel draining out of that uh, as I push it in, push that valve in, hit the starter button, and if the fuel pump's working, fuel will shoot out of that. <laughs> Nothing. There is three ways that I now know that this fuel pump has had it. So let's get on with replacing this. And, And because this is in my shed, I'm going to be draining the fuel into this container just to make it easier to, to work on the fuel pump inside the tank. I'm just going to clean it up with a bit of a parts cleaner just to try to keep any dirt out of it. 17 mil spanners for these and a three mil hex. Uh, for the fuel pump assembly part at the back. When you remove these two bolts, this whole fuel pump's going to fall inside there. Easy enough to get it out because you're pulling it out from the top here, but getting it back in is a problem, especially if the thing is full of fuel and you can't properly tip the whole thing upside down. So a tip would be if you have some electrical wire in your spares kit on the bike, get that. And before you, uh, before you let this all drop down inside, try to wrap this wire around uh, one of these two bolt ends. It's a bit of a lip on, this, on the larger bolt that you might be able to push that wire down into. Then you can remove these and I've undone the top one. So now if you're just kind of careful, you can feed that wire bit of rotating going on. And there we go. Now I have that wire through. That's going to make it really easy to feed this thing back through later on. And now we can get on with replacing this fuel pump. So the kit that I'm going to use is an all balls kit. 
it comes, it's the All Balls fuel pump kit for the KDM 500 and various other models. Uh, I'll stack of models there actually that it fits. And inside the kit we have the fuel pump itself. It's just a tiny little thing. We also have a whole bunch of uh, hoses and connectors. We have three different length hoses, some uh, little those funny little clips which I can never remember the name of and a bunch of hose clips and a in-tank fuel filter. On with the replacement. The first part is to remove the old pump from the housing. I've already replaced this fuel filter, the in-tank one, so have already swapped out these little clamps for hose clamps. But if you are doing this for the first time, they're going to be these little funny little squeeze together clips. Um, so these ones you need to prise them open with a screwdriver. But my one, I can just undo the hose clamps. Fuel goes everywhere. That's just the way it is. So wear gloves. Okay. Wire cutters to cut some of these little tiny cable ties off. Remove the two electrical connectors. And they are, um, they're different size plugs so you don't have to worry about uh, remembering which one's which because they only go on one terminal. We've got the housing for the fuel pump. Push these little connectors in. Okay, so we've got the cover. So the cover will come off there. Comes out in one piece. And the old filter has a pre filter on it, complete with insects or something on there. The reason for the hoses, you need to put the same size hose back on the new filter uh, to, to get the length right, if that makes sense. There are other fuel kits that you can get, fuel pump kits that you can get. And the one that we did on uh, Pete's bike in the desert, it didn't have the right length of hose for this short piece here. So we actually had to reuse this and it's, it's not easy. It's like virtually impossible to remove this hose from the OEM fuel pump. So if you can get a kit with the right length of hose that you can use, all the better. So basically we are putting this hose onto this end. That's pushed right down. There are a couple of little hose clamps that you get with this. So you use one. Go on to the other end, we've got to put this little uh, filter. That's a really snug fit on there. With a different kit, the other kit that we used, um, we had to reuse a piece that was in there, the little tiny, uh, little tiny circular washer thing to hold this on here because they just, it just would fall off. But this is a really snug fit. This won't need anything else on there. So that's perfect, good to go. First filter is pushed right on. Slide him back in there. Cover on. That's clicked into place. And now that now that this is in here, you can you can get a better idea of which way to orient the little hose clip. Okay, that's the hose clip done. Push the connectors back on. Now the only thing that this didn't come with was a uh, cable tie just to keep those little hoses, the little wires wrapped around that hose. 
in tank fuel filter. That is insanely difficult to get this onto this hose, but I've done it using heat. And my pro tip would be, if you buy this kit to take on as spares with you on, the, on a trip, do this at home. Like use a heat gun to get this hose on this uh, fuel filter before you go. And then when you, if you ever actually need it, this will be dead easy. Okay. It was an existing hose, so that was easy. Also, I do recommend changing these little clamps over to um, the screw ones rather than the, the squeeze together ones. Personal preference, but I think it just makes it easier in the field because all you need is a screwdriver to undo them and to redo them. So once it's all back together, you uh, now grab your piece of wire that you used before, and this is gonna make it so much easier. Wrap it around that bottom one. There's a, like I said, there's a bit of a, bit of a sort of a lip thing there. So you can use that to wrap your piece of wire around. And then you feed this back in. And you've just got to get the, um, Get it through that hole. You can screw the other bolt in there just so it doesn't go anywhere. Undo your piece of wire. And pop this one back on. The big one. I won't tighten that up totally just yet. And then this one goes, goes this way. And once they're both in and uh, both aligned and sitting nicely, let's tighten them up. About that. This one was pushed right around to uh, touching that one. And place your four hex hex screws. And we're done. Let's stick it back on the bike and we'll repeat those tests and you'll just see what a working fuel pump should do. When I hit the button, you should hear the fuel pump prime. There's the prime. Oh, I need to do the fuel test thingy with the, just to show you that. Push that in, hit the button. Things I do for you, eh? Fuel everywhere. Anyway, uh, now it should start. This battery's been sitting a long time, so it might not start. Mm, no. A few moments later. It lives. Woo! Fuel pump replaced. Well, I hope you've got something out of this video. I hope you remember to pack your electrical wire and pre-fit any uh, tight sort of hoses beforehand. It will make your life a lot easier. Now I will say it's not that difficult. Like it's, there's no magic involved. It's just stepping through it. You're just pulling stuff out. You're disassembling things and then you're replacing the fuel pump and reassembling. You'll work it out in the field if you need to. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.